Hi everyone, this is Nail, and welcome to Nail's Tiny Studio. How are you doing today? I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. This video is a coach, a vintage coach obsession video. I hope that you are enjoying my coach closet, and if you are, please feel free to like, and subscribe to Simply Nails Tiny Studio because a lot of things pop off in this tiny studio and if you would like to know and you would like to be in on the fun you have to subscribe so anyhow this is a vintage coach obsession video and as you probably already know if you are returning I have a small vintage coach collection I've been working on it now for maybe about I want to say about four years probably I have a vintage coach small collection that I'm growing but I also have you know coach in my in my closet throughout other collections of coach that are not vintage and I may be sharing some of those items with you so that you can get an idea of coach and you know I don't necessarily have a beef with coach the brand I just feel that when they stop using the cool leathers that they used uh, in the past and when they start to begin begin to look or try to compete with other design designer labels it just lost some of that spark for me so I have a lot of coach in my closet um, different collections that I have purchased like starting in the mid 2000s and you know I would see something here and there and I would pick it up or you know that's it but let me tell you though there is one particular uh, collection that coach does have that's a newer collection that I would like to acquire and that is the rogue collection now as I said before I had I am on a limited budget here so my budget oh no 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 my particular budget listen I can't afford a rogue. I can't afford it retail. I cannot afford it at the outlet. I cannot afford I cannot afford it on the pre-love market. So it's just something that I'm going to have to work up to. I have a lot of things going on, a lot of irons in the fire. So it's something that I will have to, you know, seriously, seriously think about, you know, purchasing in the future. But it's something that I I would really, really like to have in my collection is a rogue. Have you seen the rogues? They're just absolutely awesome. There's there's a rumor going around that Coach is going to discontinue the rogue line. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's the rumor. That's what I heard. But if so, come on now, Coach. Why would you do that? That line right there. Oh, awesome. But you know what? My birthday is in November. So listen, if you want to get your girl a gift, get her a rogue. I would prefer a black rogue with ox blood sway ox blood with an ox blood uh sway lining or you could get me a uh, a rogue that is in the color of camel with an ox blood sway lining or you could purchase, you could buy as, as a gift, <laughs> a rogue in ox blood with that beautiful black suede lining. Think about it. I am worth it. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. That's my rogue obsession. Uh, do you like the Coach Rogue collection? They're just beautiful. I love it. All right, now back to the vintage coach. 
I have a vintage coat bag I want to share with you today as she is part of my vintage coat collection. She is the vintage coach Whitney and here she is. This is the vintage coach Whitney bag. She has a cute handle as you can see. She doesn't come with a strap, so she's not a crossbody. Um, as you see, she has these beautiful prongs. And that holds the strap. She doesn't have any feet, but this is the bottom. She has a beautiful slip pocket, which is very, very deep. What's in here? Oh, see, pen, <laughs> receipts. Yes, yeah, she's a great bag. Okay, she has, she doesn't have a turn lock closure or a zipper closure. She just has a clasp. A magnetic a magnetic class okay I have her stuffed already and this is what she looks like on the inside as you know I stuffed my bags with um, classic shopping bags and I do that to keep the shape of the bag, number one, and another receipt. I also do it to, you know, for purposes of sustainability. You know, um, I said it before, I, I don't like the fact that we waste so much and plastic takes a lot of time to break down decades in fact and the landfills where this plastic or plastic piles up at you know it's very unsafe and as it's breaking down the chemicals that create plastic goes into the system goes into the the um, soil and also drains into the water and there are a lot of different countries third world countries that are living with this type of uh, with this type of, of trash and so I just felt that you know I could do my part in the world of uh, being eco-friendly and uh, sustainability in the name of sustainability and so I just take those grocery bags and I just I stuff my my um, handbags with them and it works for me and it's going to work it works for the environment as well at least you know I can say I'm doing my part all right so here is the inside of the Whitney and of course she's very deep as you see there's her slip pocket in the back and let me open that up for you now she doesn't span the width of the bag, but you can put a few things in her as well. You can put some, you know, some lip gloss, lipstick, a little bit of change or whatnot. And this is her story patch or creed and she was made in I want to say October 1996 she is a great bag I found her maybe about oh man I want to say now I've had her for maybe about, I want to say about five years because 
I found her at a thrift store and I'm thinking it had to be almost five years ago because I had major back surgery. <laughs> I was in a bad car accident and then I had major back surgery. So all of that, when I found her, it was before all of those things occurred. And um, she was my second, no, my third vintage coach bag. But I still had not had or ha I still hadn't been bitten by the vintage coach uh, bug just yet at that. Well, not at that time I hadn't. And it's really interesting to me because, as I said before, I look for, when I'm thrifting, I look for good leather bags. Bags that are going to serve me a dual purpose. It's going to be cute, go with everything. <laughs> And I had little children at the time, so if I could stuff a, a uh, if I could stuff an extra pull up or an extra diaper or a, 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 a spare pacifier, or what have you, if I could put that in my bag and still look cute, I was all for it. So when I saw her at the thrift store, I was like, okay, I could deal with this because she's big. You know, she's first of all, she's leather. And, you know, coach leather feels really good. It feels excellent. First, she's leather. Then, on top of that, she has a beautiful slip pocket that's deep on the front. A nice leather handle. And just cavernous on the inside, which, is, which was really wonderful for me, with a clasp and a uh, clasp closure and see those features for a mom is wonderful because you know as a mom you want to look cute don't you yes you want to look cute you want to look stylish but you want to have accessories that it's going to serve multiple purposes and that's why i like this bag so when i saw it at the thrift store i immediately put it in my um I immediately put it in my bag, in my, my shopping cart, but I really did not look inside, inside to see if it was a coach bag or not. I just liked the bag. I looked at it. I saw it. I looked inside. I was like, okay, this is good. And I kept it moving. And one of the things, um, the reasons that happened is if you can see there, the coach bag. The Coach Creed or Story Patch is basically almost the same color as as the um, back slip pocket. So, if you're not really paying attention, you're not going to really see it. And that's what happened to me. And then when I got home and I started, you know, cleaning and doing the little things that you do after you bring home some items from the thrift store. And then that's when I discovered that it was a vintage coach bag. And I was like, oh, good job, Neil. Good job. I was really excited about that. But I really had not caught <laughs> the bug at that time it would be it would be a little later and then I I was bitten by the vintage coach bug so I really I wear this bag and I don't wear it often but I do wear her as you see I have re receipts and pins and things of like like that things of that nature in her but she's in excellent condition and she's a really really good bag she was made in 1996 so that makes her what 26 years old and she's still in great condition and she feels good and that's one of the reasons why people are just so you know gung-ho about vintage coach these days is because you know it's just look at all these receipts <laughs> it's because um coach leather is just a really really great great leather and as you see it stands it stands the test of time and 
which is why I just absolutely adore Coach and I adore um, all of my Coach bags, in fact, but especially my Vintage Coach bags. So once again, this is the Vintage Coach Whitney. She is still in excellent, excellent condition to be 26 years of age. She is in really, really good condition. And like I said, you know, when you have handbags and especially vintage coach bags, when you have them, you have to be, you know, do certain things so that they will continue to, you know, have lots of years and lots of life left in them for you to pass them on to the next generation or to you know you may want to sell them and if you decide to sell your vintage sell your handbags it's best to have them in the the best condition that you can possibly have them in and it really starts once you acquire them once you acquire your your or purchase your bag your handbags don't be like me. Take care of them. <laughs> when I first started buying handbags in the past, I didn't really take care of my bags. That's why I don't have any of them, uh, any bags from maybe the 80s or the 90s. I don't have any bags like that anymore because one thing is I didn't take care of them. And number two, when I moved to uh, move down south, I had to give them, you know, some of them away. But the point of the matter is, is that I did not learn to take care of my bags until maybe about I want to say almost 10 years ago is when I really began to take care of my bags and begin to store them properly and clean them and condition them because all of those things are really, really important if you want to extend the life of your handbag. And which is one of those great things about Vintage Coach that is that you can love on them and love on them and they will continue to love you back. And even if you forget about them and you don't, you abuse them, you don't care for them the way you should, uh, the next owner, if they have the knowledge, or you, if you begin to acquire the knowledge on how to take care of them and restore them, then you can go ahead and restore it yourself and they come right back. They really do. Now I notice that there is a piece of string there piece of thread there so i'm going to grab my embroidery scissor and i'm going to cut that you see that these are my embroidery scissors and of course i use this for yarn but they are also wonderful for getting those really 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 you know those pieces of thread that you sometimes see pop up uh on your handbags and it's better to use some good embroidery scissors like this instead of trying to pull at it because when you pull at things uh, especially strings or uh, threads I should say on your handbags what you, you end up doing is you begin to rip the stitch out and that's what you don't want to do so this is the coach Whitney isn't she beautiful she was made or handcrafted in 1996 and she is still in wonderful, wonderful condition. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the tiny studio. This is a Vintage Coach Obsession video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to do so right down in the comment uh, section. And I will try to get back with you and answer your questions as best as I can. If you have information that you would like to share about Vintage Coach, please go ahead and do so. I am not a coach historian by the way I just love coach so if you have a little bit more information about the vintage coach Whitney that you would like to share please do so remember do not forget to like share subscribe have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time in the tiny studio bye bye